is a war brewing, unlike the world has ever seen, except maybe in the several other games in this series. One man, one woman, and a yearly sequel cycle that just won't give this franchise a rest will unite the gangs of Victorian-era London and battle the Templars in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Jacob and Evie Fry are your typical teenage twins on a magical journey of life. Watch as they encounter all the challenges of adulthood, such as dropping heavy objects on unsuspecting enemies, stabbing people with all manner of sharp objects, dumping horses into the river when it best suits them, and sometimes even being likable. Go on, toast your noble boss, this thief of children. Or you could do better. Join me. Join the Rooks. Join the Fry Twins on an epic journey to take back London from the Templars, one district at a time, and provide a ray of hope to the working class. Witness full-scale gang warfare and a combat system that may as well just stop pretending to be an Assassin's Creed title at all. Seriously, it should. This looks a lot less clunky. Take part in underground fighting rings and stalk the rooftops with possibly the worst superhero disguise since Superman and Clark Kent. Use pretty much the same mechanics you've come to expect from the series except with more carriage racing and third-person shooting. For every revolution, there's an equal and opposite rehash. Except when Jacob suddenly turns into Dark Knight and grapples onto rooftops. Man, can we get the hang glider from Assassin's Creed 2 back as well? That thing was awesome. Starring Hugh Jackman. Evie. We totally support female protagonists, so please buy our game Fry. Oliver Twist. Gangs of London. And The 1%. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Occupy London, because that worked out so well with Wall Street.